With so much to juggle in your life, it's hard to remember to change the batteries in your smoke detector. If you do ever happen to remember and want to know how, in this video, we'll show you how to change the batteries in your smoke detector. Come on! This shouldn't take too long. When it comes to replacing the button, oh, that flashing up there, just click on that project button if you want to jump straight to the project and skip all of my talking. Nice touch, Cam. When it comes to changing the batteries in your smoke detector, manufacturers actually, you know what? I just happen to have a smoke detector owner's user guide, whatever. If you look inside, you'd think it'd be in the battery installation section, but it's not. It's in the maintenance section. It says that a fresh battery should last for one year under normal operating conditions. A lot of people in the industry say that daylight savings times is a great time to actually change that battery. So every November you should think about changing it. I know most of you probably wait until it just starts chirping, but all joking aside, it's a great idea to replace the smoke detector batteries once a year and uh, it doesn't take a lot of tools. The only thing you're going to need is a ladder and if your smoke detectors are really old, you might need a screwdriver. So anyway, let me show you how. Up here. Now the batteries can be in a couple of different places. I'll show you some of the most common. Some of them have a door on the front, like this one. All you need to do is slide the door to the side, take the battery out, put a new one in, and close the door. Just make sure you pay attention to the positive and negative terminals. There should be some kind of marking inside. This one has a door on the side. There's a little latch that slides and releases the door. Open it, remove the old battery, install the new one, and close the door. There's a few more common places that batteries might be. I've got some smoke detectors in the other room that I want to show you. Come on. Now these are some smoke detectors that our technicians removed from a job and they are different examples of how batteries can be in, this, in the detector so I wanted to show you those. This one right here is actually a battery only smoke detector. The door actually pulls out. You take the old battery out, put a new one in, close the door and you're good to go on that one. Now these two are a little different because you actually need to unscrew them counterclockwise, pull them down from the wall to reveal the doors where the batteries are hidden. This one, there's actually a screw. This is where you would need a screwdriver on, on uh, some of the smoke detectors. But there's a screw right there. You take that out and you pop this door down and it reveals the battery. Take the old battery out, put the new one in, close the door, screw it back up in the ceiling, and that one's good. This one, unscrew it, pull it down. It has a door that you actually have to pry open and you remove the battery, replace it with a new one, close the door, and put it up in the ceiling. Since we talked earlier about pulling smoke detectors down, this is actually a good time to mention that manufacturers recommend replacing the smoke detector after 10 years. Not just the batteries every year, replace the whole detector after 10 years. The reason is is because they just they start to go bad and they're not working as good. A lot of people wonder where do I actually find the date um, of when it was manufactured because it's the date of when the smoke detector was made, not the date uh, when it's installed. When you pull it down off the wall, on the back there should be a date somewhere that shows when the thing was made. Replace it if it's older than 10 years. If you need some help knowing how to do that, we put a video together about how to replace your smoke detector. It's pretty easy to follow step by step. You should be able to do it yourself. But if you ever feel like you've gotten in over your head, stop and call an electrician you trust for some help. Now, if you found this information helpful and informative, give us a thumbs up. It lets us know that you like the videos we're making. If there's anything else you wanna know about how your electrical, plumbing, heating, or air conditioning system works, leave your suggestions in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe so you get notifications when our new videos come out. Have a great day, thanks for watching. In this video, you'll see how to change a battery. So come along with me. I'm such a dweeb. I'm not gonna do that, sounds weird. Here's the thing, no one reads these. I don't know if manufacturers read them. That's like really, is there a number on this thing? I'm gonna call. I really am. Where's my phone? Is it, do you have my phone? Where's my phone? All lines are currently busy. Please continue to of course hold they for are. the next There's a few more common places that batteries might be. I've got some smoke detectors in the other room that I want to show you. Come on. Oh, shoot! <laughs> Missed the step!
Can you believe this guy? And that guy? <laughs> this is why we don't shoot two videos in one day.